Across the world, laboratories at companies such as Google and IBM have spent extensive resources on developing quantum computers, and for good reason. Quantum computing uses the fundamentals of quantum mechanics to process much greater amounts of information much faster than conventional computers. If efficient, error-corrected, and fault-tolerant quantum computing is achieved, scientific and technological advancement can occur at an unprecedented scale. But at present, designing such quantum computers is proving to be highly challenging. Scientists are plagued by what they call the wiring problem, in which the basic units of the computer, the quantum bits or qubits, need to be connected to their nearest neighbors as well as the necessary external control lines and devices. To make this possible, complex and intricate 3D wiring systems have been devised, creating structures that span multiple planes. These structures are difficult to construct, involve considerable crosstalk and interference, and result in the rapid degradation of qubits. As a consequence, the practicable integration of superconducting quantum chips has not been possible. A recent study by a group of scientists from Japan and Australia changes this dynamic. The study reveals the development and successful testing of a novel pseudo-2D architecture that solves the wiring problem by placing all qubits at the edge of the network and connecting them through air bridges. This design is considerably simpler than 3D designs and can be constructed using existing 2D integrated circuit technology. Moreover, because there are fewer overlaps among wires, the crosstalk is considerably lower and efficiency is considerably higher in this system. This novel design requires further evaluation, but it takes scientists one step further in their quest to achieve fault-tolerant quantum computers, bringing the future a little bit closer.